Hi friends, I just wanted to share this nice story with this kale garden. This is a 15 months old scarlet kale. The plants have grown very well. They produced lots of kale for last 15 months. And recently the plants have outgrown the lights. I showed in one of my recent videos, the plants went way above the lights. So I started removing the plants. Instead of removing all the plants at once, I am harvesting the kale and as I am harvesting the kale, I am actually cutting the plants. But uh, very surprisingly, I see lots of new growth coming from pretty much all the stems. Look here. So I cut it about uh, 5 inches above, above the base and I see lots of new growth showing up here. And the same thing with the every other plant that I cut here. And look at this, this one has even more growth. So this is very nice and here is one more stem. I cut it a little bit above here, but look at this beautiful growth. Wow. So now I'm going to give these plants another life here. I'm going to cut all the plants like this. I'm going to cut the remaining plants as well and see how nicely the scale is going to come. Look at this. This is really a very tall kale, but uh, it just fell and started growing under the lights. But otherwise, it would be a lot above the lights. So now I'm going to cut this uh, plant all the way to the base, like maybe like four or five inches above the base and see how, uh, how much kale I can get and what will be the productivity of the second life of these plants. I'm not going to cut everything at once. I'm going to, this is actually a lot of kale for my salad. So I'm going to cut the plants one by one, maybe one plant a day or maybe one plant in every two days. And I'm going to uh, keep the stems as is. These plants also infested with aphids. We can see here all this uh, aphid poop all over this garden. So it got pretty bad infestation. That was another reason I wanted to get rid of these plants. Not only they were outgrown, but they also infested with a lot of aphids. So I wanted to get rid of it, but uh, this results really surprising me. So I'm going to keep this garden, but I'm going to clean up. Kale is very sensitive to touch the roots. I'm going to clean up this garden, but uh, I will try not to touch the roots at all. I will just uh, wash this base and also dump the water and start over with the fresh water and nutrition. But I will try not to touch the root system at all. I tried to touch the root system many times in the past and kale is very sensitive and the plants got killed pretty instantly. Just within like 3-4 days they got upset and all plants did in the past. So I am not going to repeat that mistake. But I am going to gently uh, remove the plants, wash the system and uh, put them back. It's been uh, 10 days since I last showed the beginning of the new journey and look at this lots of growth and uh, this scale is actually ready to harvest. Of course they can grow much bigger but uh, these leaves are young and they always taste a bit sweet so I'm always happy to harvest when they are young so if I really want I can start harvesting now but what I want to say is like the growth is really amazing here. I think uh, this is actually most productive way of growing kale. I think when they are growing like this, I don't see a lot of uh, yield here. Look at this. This whole stem is just hanging there and this is the end and this is where the growth is. But cutting it and getting a lot of side branches looks like a much productive way. I think this is what I am going to do. I just learned this uh, nice thing. This scale variety, actually, I, I really like it. I like these purple colors. I definitely like this scale. But because the plants are growing uh, so big, I thought uh, this is not the right variety for hydroponics. But now I learned that I can actually cut the plants and uh, let the side growth kick in and uh, make the plants much more productive this way. Wow, definitely this is a nice finding. All right, that's pretty much I wanted to say. I actually wanted to cut all these plants, but uh, I didn't get time. I'm just uh, letting it grow. I'm just uh, keep adding the water and nutrition like this. But uh, whenever I get time and uh, whenever I get chance, I really want to cut all these plants to the base and uh, uh, clean this garden and uh, let it grow. Look at this plant. It got nice twist and uh, still like pretty big. If I actually pull it all the way, it is way above the lights. But uh, nicely, it is basically taking nice turns and uh, staying under lights. So this is good. But uh, I really want to cut it and let the side growth kick in on all these plants. I feel like this is just the beginning. Let's see where it will end. But uh, I just want to share that. 
this is one uh, most productive way of growing kale. Maybe I can apply this technique on uh, all kale, kale varieties, but uh, definitely it is proven to be working for this uh, scarlet kale. All right, that is all I wanted to share. Thanks for watching and happy hydroponics growing.